Hi there. Welcome to Clark Planetarium's engineering challenge for this week. I'm Maureen behind the camera and this is Tony. He's going to be the one showing us all this cool stuff we have ready for you. This week what we're talking about is catapults. Yeah, not just regular catapults but also trebuchets which are a type of catapult. Now what's cool about all of these is that they are great objects to explain some simple machines like levers and some different types of energy and we'll go into that. So if we look first at some of these catapults, you will see that they've got this long bit and the little cup that's on top of it, right? Where we put our marshmallow or our pom-pom. That's what we use to launch things into the air. Now that is called a lever. It's a type of simple machine. And here with the one that Tony's got, this is using popsicle sticks. So this long stiff popsicle stick on the top, that's our lever. A lever also has a fulcrum or balance point. Exactly, exactly. And here we have a close up of what we were trying to explain before. So these catapults use simple machines called a fulcrum and a lever. The fulcrum is this big fat kind of a thick chunk of popsicle sticks in the middle. What a fulcrum does is it's the balance point for that lever and it allows the lever to go back and forth to be able to build up that potential energy and save it up for when we shoot. Exactly. Great. Let's get back to the other. Now, the types of energy that we use. Let's think about a rubber band since we're using them when, with these catapults. Rubber bands, when you pull them back and you don't let go, that type of energy right there, that's called potential energy. It's energy that's all stored up and ready to go but hasn't yet gone. Now when he lets go of it, that energy changes from that potential energy or stored energy into kinetic or moving energy. And that is what makes the catapults so cool. Now if we look here, we don't just have the catapults. Like we said, we've got this trebuchet. Now the trebuchet still has that lever. So that long bit sticking up there, that's our lever. And if you can see, it's got a little bit coming across, that's our fulcrum point. Yeah, exactly, exactly. All right, we're gonna take a closer look at the simplest catapult that we have. Tony's gonna show us how to make it so you guys can join in on this shooting fun. Tony? All right, so as Maureen said, this is the most simple catapult we can build. And um, to build this catapult, you need a base of popsicle sticks. And with this base, you're gonna also have a fulcrum, which is just gonna be the balance point that we take our lever part of the catapult and attach that to. So after you build your base, we just did this with a bunch of popsicle sticks and then rubber banding them together. You can take a couple more, attach them, and then you can either glue it down to the base or you can just rubber band them. But then that gives you a fulcrum point and a lever that you can create potential energy with and shoot, as you can see here. And Tony, can we have a little bit better close up? Let's bring up the finished one real quick. Finished one? So if we could see, here, we'll do this. See how we just rubber banded the ends right there to keep that lever on top of our fulcrum point. And there we go. So let's see what else fun we have for you guys. What we're going to do is we're going to be showing you how, we, how far we can launch with some of these. So let's just, I'll swing around here. And we're going to see how far we can launch these down here. Just to get you a little bit excited about how fun these things are. All right, you ready, Tony? All right, let her go. Oh. It's all right. That's all part of science. We're exploring and learning. So the trick with the trebuchets is, of course, that you've got to have just the right hold on your, in this case, marshmallow. And then you gotta let go of it just right for it to launch right off. So we'll just try that one more time. Darn it, we'll try again. All right, we're going to show you this trebuchet because it's fun and it launches things pretty far, farther than our catapults. You ready, Tony? All right, let's go. Oh yeah, all the way down the hallway. 
Oh, I don't know if you can see how far that goes. If you've been into the planetarium, it looks like it went all the way down to the drinking fountain. <laughs> Excellent. All right. We want to thank you guys for joining us. And we want you to know that you can take your time to build some of these fun things. Just remember, all you need is some popsicle sticks, some rubber bands, maybe some glue, something to launch it with, like, you know, the rubber or the caps for the Gatorade, maybe a spoon. We're using marshmallows and pom-poms. And remember to tag us with your projects because we totally want to see it. So, Tony, what are those? Hashtag Clark Planetarium and hashtag engineering challenge. And remember, don't aim it at any living thing or anybody because you can't hit people in the eye. That'd be really terrible. So if you do make them, you know, shoot them at like a cardboard box or something. Yeah, see if you can build yourself a castle or something and take it down. All right, thanks, you guys. Have a good week and have fun building and enjoying science. See ya.